He was the engine, you know. The band was just feeding him ideas. You know, fortunately, we had three guys in the band who could come up with the right guitar riffs that would inspire him to write. I mean, between Gary, Allen, and myself, we all had three separate styles, wrote three different guitar ways, you know. So when we got together with Ronnie, the results were so diversified. It was, you know, the tunes were quite different. And Gary Rossington. The only people that ever did before that time was the Buffalo Springfield. But we didn't copy them, of course. We never sound like them, but they were the only group that had three guitars. I never thought of that. Good point. And Ed, with the alarm clock, they used to tour together, alarm clock and Springfield. And actually, that's where we first saw the alarm clock, was on the Springfield tour. We just decided since they had it, we could have three guitars. So lots of groups now have three guitars. We tried to structure the songs where they all interlocked, what like the rhythm parts and the leads, and they kind of all fit each other. And it took us like weeks to do this when we first started. We didn't just start, dun, 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 you know, playing all together and playing the same thing. Everybody had their own part and their own style. Like Ed has his own way of playing, and Alan had his own way, and I got my own way. And that's the only reason it worked because we all were so different we we could fit. We couldn't play. I couldn't play what Alan could play, and I couldn't play what Ed could, and they couldn't play what I could. You know, we couldn't copy each other.